Hey everybody, it's Katie. I am very excited today to be able to share this recipe with you as part of the collaboration project this month for Crocktober. That is a month of daily crockpot slow cooker recipes from a bunch of YouTubers. I will list in the description box everybody who's participating so you're able to see all the other videos for the month of October. The recipe I'm going to share today is a coconut milk rice pudding. It is adapted from a cookbook called Vegan Slow Cooker and I will link to that book itself. Um, you can make it vegan or non-vegan. If you've seen my other recipe videos, you know that I like recipes that are flexible, um, that you can customize to your family's taste, that are sort of basic, you know, forgiving kind of recipes that you can, you can modify based on what you have on hand and what you like. This recipe definitely qualifies, plus being made in the slow cooker, you don't have to babysit it, so it's super, super easy. It only takes about two hours to cook, so it's something you can easily prep as you're making dinner, and then it'll be ready for dessert time. Or in my book, it's also sort of a breakfast food. It's like a stewed whole grain, so it's basically oatmeal, okay? So feel free to indulge first thing in the morning as well. I will get right into my cooking demo, but all the the full recipe and all the ingredients and everything, all the amounts you need, everything will be listed below this video. You're going to need something to oil your crock just to prevent the pudding from burning and kind of sticking to the sides. You can use anything, really can, any kind of oil or butter, whatever. Um, I am sort of a purist with this one. I like it to be very coconutty, so I'm just going to use coconut oil. For this recipe, you do want to use arborio rice. That's the one that is used in risotto. Um, it's sort of a short grain. Um, that holds its shape well. If you use a different type of rice, you may have to adjust the amount of liquid or the amount of the, the cooking time since different rices um, have different requirements that way, but this is my preferred type. Um, it's not the cheapest kind of rice in the world, but you can look in bulk bins, like especially at a health food store, and get it a whole lot cheaper than in a package. You're going to want vanilla extract, or if you want to be really special, you can use coconut extract. I've also made it with almond, and it was excellent. You need one can of coconut milk. You do not want to use coconut milk from like a carton, like the sort of watered down. You, it has to be a can. This is just white sugar. You can also use maple syrup or agave extract or something, you know, your sweetener of choice. Um, again, I like it to be just purely coconut flavor, so I just use white sugar so it doesn't interfere. You're going to need two cups of milk, and you can use any type of milk. I'm using um, half almond milk and half whole dairy milk now because I'm rationing my milks. Um, I've made it with all non-dairy milk and I've made it with all dairy milk and it all works out. You can choose to mix things into this recipe really easily um, towards the end of cooking. I've used different types of fruit. Mango is awesome. Um, I've used strawberries. Uh, you can use like chopped dried apricots. Of course you can mix in cinnamon. That's sort of a classic you know, rice pudding flavoring. Um, really anything goes. This time I think I'm going to use some shredded coconut just to make it extra coconutty. And this is unsweetened coconut, so I don't want it to be like ridiculously sweet. I just want the coconut flavor. All right, I just oiled my crock. Um, I'm using a four quart crock pot. First thing I like to put in is the coconut milk. Give it a good shake because it can separate um, the sort of liquids and solids. So I give it a good shake. I'll open up my can and pour it in. So I really like to get every last drop of coconut goodness for this recipe. So I take my milk and refill the can and just give it a little swirl so I'm sure to get all the coconut milk out. So I'll do that a couple of times until the can looks clean. my rice, my sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla. With everything in there, I just stir it up, put on my lid, and I'm going to set it to high. For a give or take, it takes about two hours. Every crock is going to be different depending on the size, again, depending on your rice. At about an hour and a half, I'm going to check the doneness. Um, of the rice and you can adjust the liquid if you want. If two cups of milk is too rich for you, you can substitute uh, 
you know, half cup of water for some of the milk. And as you check it, if you feel like the rice, the pudding is getting too thick, you can add in some water towards the end of the cooking time. Also at the one and a half hour mark, you would want to add your mix-ins if you're using them, um, spices, fruits, nuts, whatever. Okay, we're at the hour and a half mark. I have stirred this one time before, just in the middle of cooking. See, it's sort of simmering up on the edges. Give it a stir. It's still pretty liquidy, but it does get thick while it cools, so that's okay. I'm going to test my rice for doneness. Okay, my rice definitely needs more time. That's okay. I'm going to mix in my, this is a quarter cup of shredded coconut. And for flavor, this time I'm going to do a quarter teaspoon of cardamom. It smells amazing in here. I'm going to cover it again and give it another half an hour and check again. Alright, so now it's been exactly two hours since we started the crock pot and you see this is just about perfect. The rice is soft, at least in my crock pot. I'm going to let it cool a bit before I serve. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoy if you try this recipe. And go ahead and look at the whole list and try everybody else's really good crackpot recipes this month. Ah. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.